text-based string for uh, the running text message. So this is also something new these days here. Because we are coming from the video and from the TV side and have the audio side in-house, there was the idea why not using video technique also inside a radio channel. And then we start. I'd like to introduce the The radio system, there are a lot of possibilities with the DRAM modulation technique and this content. And we continue, we know that the DRAM system is not only covering one broadcast band, it is used from LF up to VHF. So it's one standard which is covering with DRM 30 all the AM broadcast band, and with DRM Plus it is possible to cover also in the VHF band broadcast transmission. And all features which are known in the DRM system are included in the DRM 30 or even also in the DRM Plus environment. The main advantages we see is it is flexible from the content and all this full carrier independency. This means it's your transmitting station, it's your content. You don't need somebody else to cover the area and to broadcast your things. Broadcast is not aimed at just the news or the, the people are not just listening to things, they, they like to have additional information in this content. So audio alone is not anymore enough, we think. Other things need to be added and the family of DRAM includes all the features with labelings, with text, with pictures and even now we saw with the new compression technology it's possible also to include some small videos transmitted over such a channel. So the content is one of the questions which has to be addressed. This means we need more information to put inside such a channel. Okay. The, the quality, that's one of the main reasons why people say they like to need a digital radio system, because the audio quality is such impressive compared to what was usable before in this band. And we have here a demonstration, you can listen here to the 30 transmission if you'd like to. Then beside the audio quality we see all these features that we can give additional information to our program, to the broadcast, which is this text, so there is static information, or I can during the audio broadcast add additional things like an service, we see there on the right side a journal line service, which is a text-based application. This means you have your news running with just the headlines you are announcing, and in the device itself you can add with text pages a lot of, lot of more details, which some of your listeners might be interested in, where they can pick up them at the time they like to. So then the idea, one click more, it was now the logo of DVMO. This means using the DRAM system, which is broadcasting a wide area, and you can bring news over an audio channel to your receiver. For example, with a short wave station, it is possible to target areas where you are not located. The main advantage is all, all these DRAM broadcasts is that you are not depending to be on this place you are broadcasting because the infrastructure for the transmission is somewhere else. You're targeting other areas. In medium wave, you can cover your area around for a quick size, and with short wave, you can even hop around the world. The transmission modes for DV mode, we need not only one channel, we need a double channel, 18 kilohertz or a 20 kilohertz channel allocation, but which is possible to use to transmit that amount of data to a receiver. Okay. Here is a small example of just a 100 kilowatt transmitter in uh, Central Europe. What would be the effect of the coverage? And we see the circle is growing when we step down in frequency. This is 1.5 megahertz, next one. So with 1 megahertz and next one with 500 kilohertz, you see. With a medium wave transmitter, you can do such famous things to cover with one station an international area around with one complete program. 
What are the steps to have this DVO included, a video in an audio broadcast? It is necessary to have the compression on one place. This means on the beginning of the broadcast chain, you're putting all things together. You're putting your sound, you're putting your text, your labeling, your journal and text services, and also this video data inside the streams you like to configure. So the content server is an implementation. And the next step is we had last year on the IBC 2010 already one live broadcast with the BBC together from England to Amsterdam, which was the first test live on air with the DVMO included. So the consortium is taking care to have this feature included in the standard. And we have a common work together with our receiver manufacturer to have the compression technique also included in the receiver side. And we have here an example on the right side low how it looks on the receiver to have a video on this broadcast channel. We see applications on spec one. Application is mainly to have, let's say, a common educational program or in disaster areas we can inform the people what's going on because the local infrastructure is not anymore existing and we know these days what is, what's the meaning behind and this is the nearly same presentation we saw last year on the IBC because the medium, long wave and short wave broadcast is the main advantage to cover, to cover the area where you're not actually present with the transmitter. So together with the Fraunhofer, which is the technology company on the compression side, the transmitter manufacturer in between, and used to electronic as the receiver manufacturer, we made this happen to have these members which, need, which are necessary to have one chain fulfilled uh, to implement this first demo of the video on a DRM system. Okay. That's the receiver. We see there is a radio menu, additional information inside. The next one is a journal line service which can be included. The next one is the, the menu because the receiver is not anymore just the sound. There are other things possible. Next one, we see that you can transmit static pictures. And now we will see the next, the last one. And Rexona will click on it. No, we want to go back. Sorry. Radio is changing. BBC and Deutsche Welle Channel. DRS International Radio. Slow and welcome to the Sagiras. Build up and the Indian movement is getting very serious. Digital Radio Mondial is here, converting the analog radio world to digital. This was just a short impression to see what is possible these days with compression and transport over such a system. We saw DRM30, which means we see 8 frames per second. That's the number of pictures we see. With a data rate of around 70 kilobits inside this broadcast, which is coming from the transmitter side to the receiver. And that's the result. And I think it's looking very good. We have two family we have two kinds in this family. One is the DRM30 system and the other one is the DRM Plus. Alexander can show. Even also in DRM Plus it is possible to transmit such a signal or this type of content. But here we have a bigger data rate up to 170 kilobits so we can achieve 15 frames per second for such a broadcast. The application you see behind, as mentioned, is like uh, an application, uh, the distance learning, sorry. That is means you can reach far away people and educate or keep them on track what's going on. And the shortwave broadcast is always used or has ever been used. Reach trouble spots. You see now natural disaster strike, something like this. Local communication is not anymore in operation, but you need to educate or to inform the people there. So this is all possible with the system family. We say digital radio with DRM offers video and 
audio services for extremely large coverage areas across borderlines and also important without gatekeeper. These days, gatekeeper questions are always sometimes very interesting if you are allowed or not allowed to target an area.